So picture this, you're stuck in the middle of the ocean, not just far from land, but over 1,600 miles from it. Yeah, that's Point Nemo, the most remote place on planet Earth. If you were stranded here, the nearest humans wouldn't be on a boat or an island, they'd literally be floating above you in the International Space Station. Yep, astronauts. That's how deep in the nowhere zone this place is. It's not a tropical island, not a secret base, not even a good spot for fishing. It's just water in every direction forever. They call it Nemo, which is Latin for no one, and that's accurate. No one lives here, no one visits here, and honestly, even sea creatures seem to avoid it like it's cursed. Welcome to the loneliest coordinate on Earth, Earth's real life version of airplane mode. Now here's the fun part. Point Nemo isn't something some pirate marked on an old soggy map. It was actually discovered by a computer in 1992. Yeah, a programmer named Hervoye Luca Taylor fed ocean coordinates into software and told it to calculate the spot on Earth that's farthest from any land. And boom, it found this random ocean patch that nobody had ever paid attention to before. They named it Point Nemo, a nod to Captain Nemo from Jules Verne's classic sci-fi novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Pretty fitting, right? A mysterious captain, a remote sea, it's all starting to sound like the start of a movie you'd watch on Netflix at 2am. But unlike Captain Nemo, there's no futuristic submarine lurking here, just endless ocean. What's even crazier, there's not a single island or coastline within 1,600 miles in any direction. It's like Earth's version of the no signal zone, only saltier. If you were floating at Point Nemo right now, the nearest humans to you wouldn't be on a boat or island, they'd be astronauts on the International Space Station, orbiting about 250 miles above you. That's not a dramatic metaphor, it's an actual fact. Because no ships sail this route, no islands are around, and commercial flights? Yeah, they avoid this area like it's cursed. Point Nemo sits smack in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, far from any major flight paths. No emergency landings here, unless you've mastered landing on water, and even then, good luck. This spot is so far off the radar that it's used for radio silence tests by engineers because there's basically zero interference. It's the perfect place to be alone, unless you count the occasional space station fly by above your head. Now here's where Point Nemo goes from lonely to low-key legendary. This spot is actually the official graveyard for old spacecraft. Not kidding, when satellites, cargo ships, or space stations are retired, space agencies like NASA, Russia's Roscosmos, and even the European Space Agency send them on a final kamikaze dive straight into the ocean, right here. Why? Because it's literally the safest place on Earth to crash something big, fast, and flaming without hitting a soul. Since 1971, more than 260 spacecraft have taken their final splash at Point Nemo, including Russia's Mir space station, which was the size of a small town. It's like the underwater version of Area 51, except instead of aliens, you've got a pile of high-tech space junk chilling on the ocean floor. Somewhere down there is probably a broken satellite thinking, I flew through space for 15 years, just to end up in wet retirement? So, what's actually beneath the waves at Point Nemo? Sea monsters? Lost cities? Nah, just a whole lot of nothing. Point Nemo sits above one of the deepest parts of the Pacific, with ocean depths reaching over 13,000 feet. That's more than two and a half miles straight down, and you'd think, okay, maybe there's some exotic sea life down there? Nope. Because of ocean currents, the water here is weirdly still and nutrient poor, which means not even plankton bother to show up. It's like showing up to a party and realizing there's no snacks, everyone bounces. Scientists actually refer to it as a biological desert. So while the rest of the ocean is buzzing with coral reefs, sharks, and finding Nemo-level chaos, this place is as lifeless as a printer at 1% toner. It's the ultimate dead zone, quiet, dark, cold, and so empty it makes a library feel like a rock concert. Now, let's talk about the creepy side of Point Nemo, because of course there is one. Back in 1997, scientists recorded a mysterious ultra-low frequency sound near Point Nemo. It was so loud, it was picked up by underwater microphones over 3,000 miles away. The sound was nicknamed the Bloop, and for years, people genuinely thought it might be some gigantic sea creature, like Cthulhu-sized. Yeah, internet forums went wild, even serious scientists were scratching their heads. Eventually, no AA, the real ocean experts, said it was most likely the sound of icebergs fracturing underwater. But still, the legend stuck. Conspiracy lovers say the government's hiding something out there. Sea monsters, deep sea alien bases, ancient civilizations. Is it all nonsense? 
probably, but when a place is this isolated, this deep, and this ignored by the world, your brain wants to fill in the blanks, and Point Nemo gives it the perfect eerie canvas. So after all that, why do we care about a patch of ocean no one visits, nothing lives in, and planes avoid like it's cursed? Because Point Nemo represents something kind of rare in today's world, a place that's truly untouched. No Wi-Fi, no selfies, no influencers doing yoga poses on a yacht, just raw, silent ocean. It's Earth saying, you haven't seen all of me yet. Scientists use this spot to study marine isolation, ocean currents, and even space debris re-entry angles. It's more than just an empty blue void. And for the rest of us, Point Nemo is like the final boss of loneliness, the perfect cocktail of mystery, science, and a reminder that even in a hyper-connected world, there are still places humans haven't tamed. So next time you feel like getting away from it all, maybe don't book a beach resort. Just tell people you're heading 1,600 miles into the middle of nowhere. Tell them you're going to Point Nemo.